Are they yearning for a simpler time in foreign policy? What's, what does the poll suggest is driving the way the country is viewing engagement with the world in a security sense? Well, the main thing is there really are very conflicting conclusions that we, we heard. One was when asked about Obama's foreign policy style, 40% said he struck a pretty good balance between bold and cautious, but 30% said he was too cautious. And so, and you, you see this decline in his support for his handling of Ukraine. Well, you don't think that's because he's been being too bold. I don't know. You know, truth to tell, you know what I think the secret factor is here, that not secret, but the hidden factor that isn't mentioned anywhere in our poll is, I think this is the legacy of George W. Bush's presidency, that even still today, his, you know, the decade of very active American involvement militarily sort of still hangs over what people feel about things, like enough already, long wars. And I do think that the hidden thing in, in the question, do you want to be more or less active, it's not just active, it's, it's militarily involved. And I think people are really, really but done is with there that. also something about this president and this presidency, or is it just second termitis, that makes people more likely to say, to use the weak word to describe him. Of course, we all remember when H.W. Bush had the, the wimp cover in Time or Newsweek. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if there's something else that's sticking to President Obama as well in these polls. Not surprisingly. I mean, he did run as an anti-war president. He, he ran to, to disengage from the world. Um, and you just don't have the sense that he's just longing to exercise military strength. And, and it happens also that the problems that have been presented to him, thrust in front of him, are not very easily amenable to military, simple military solutions anyway.